How your body changes when you ride a bike every day Imagine how wonderful your future could be if, with a small investment of $100,200, you could immediately lose weight, gain more self-confidence, reduce the risk of cardiovascular problems, sleep better, have more toned legs and body, and enjoy many other benefits. You can achieve all these benefits from the moment you decide to use a bicycle. In this video, I invite you to join me on a bicycle to understand how your life, your body, and your health will change when you start choosing the bicycle over the car. If you appreciate the video, we invite you to subscribe to our channel and support us with a donation. Thanks to your help, we will be able to continue producing high-quality content and constantly improving our channel. You can do it here below, through the appropriate buttons, subscribe, and, thanks. Today, we are all a bit stressed, stressed by city traffic, by meeting work goals, by keeping the family together, and by taking care of ourselves and paying attention to our health. We don't have time for everything. We don't have time to do everything that expectations demand of us. Today, we all live this paradox. We take the car to stand in line minute after minute and finally find a parking spot in front of our gym. Before reaching the equipment, however, we take the elevator to go up to the second floor, where we can finally use the exercise bike or the step machine. From the outside, it's funny, but sometimes the laughter turns bitter when we realize that this is our situation. There is one thing, however, one choice that you can make right away to start the next work year well. Why not start thinking about taking the bicycle instead of the car to work? I know, many people tell you it's tiring, it's cold, it's raining, and then you arrive all sweaty. What you don't realize, however, are the enormous long-term advantages that this small change can truly create in your life. Bring a change of clothes for work, put on a raincoat if it rains, use a sturdy lock to prevent theft, and with a few hundred dollars, your life could change enormously. The first thing that will change when you start using the bicycle is that you will lose weight. In a study, it was found that a person who switches from using the car to the bicycle to go to work loses 5 kilograms of weight in one year without dieting, without effort, and without regaining it. When you start pedaling, your physiology changes, your metabolism changes. There are ways to ride a bike, of course. Sprinters certainly burn a lot of calories, but even a common person who starts taking a ride around their neighborhood on a bicycle will truly, gradually build that habit that always leads to results. Because there is one thing that perhaps only the bicycle can guarantee you, once you start pedaling, it's hard to stop. Those who start pedaling enjoy a benefit that few other sports can give you. Reducing stress, feeling like a child again, feeling free. Studies show today that those who use the bicycle have greater self-confidence, feel freer, and feel happier. Perhaps this effect is due to the fact that we remember the first time we felt free as children, able to move away a little from our parents, to do things with friends without the constant supervision of some adult around. Everyone will remember the first time they received a bicycle as a gift. And this memory is so ingrained in our past that every time you get on a bicycle, you will feel like a better person. When you pedal, your whole body will change and strengthen. The legs, of course, are the first to benefit. Firmer glutes, slimmer legs, more reactive calves. But overall, other parts of the body, such as the abdominals or the back extensors, also work to help you push. You will have noticed that people who ride a bicycle daily are thin and have a lean physique. On the one hand, it is the metabolic effect, the increase in calories burned. On the other hand, it is also the fact that you start to develop endorphins, to promote hormones that make you feel good and that keep you away from that anxiety, that stress that then leads you to eat too much, to binge, or in any case, to make wrong choices. This literature review, conducted on more than 300 studies, has very positive conclusions. The bicycle has a positive impact on cholesterol, improving the levels of HDL, 
the good cholesterol that cleans the arteries, and reducing the levels of LDL, which is the basis of inflammation. I smile when I see certain studies, like this one I'm showing you today, which demonstrates that cycling reduces depression and stress even in the elderly, having a direct impact on their brain. It is the bicycle outdoors, in the open air, that brings the most benefits. There is movement, there is the act of moving the legs, but there is also fresh air, the ability to get some sun, which increases the production of vitamin D, so important especially in the elderly. Do you know how important vitamin D is for you? You can click here at the top because I made a video explaining how today it is one of the most important deficiencies and has the greatest negative impact on everyone's health. The beautiful thing not to be underestimated about being outdoors is that it improves socialization. Try it yourself. If you feel like it, if you're bored, if you're depressed, if you're sad, if you feel lonely, take the bicycle and go for a ride. You might find yourself surrounded by another person, have a chat, or maybe just stop at that bar for a coffee, a glass of water, and meet new enthusiasts who, like you, have started pedaling. But cycling enthusiasts have gone even further. They wanted to see if this practice can have a direct impact on cancer development or on overcoming cancer once a person suffers from it. Well, on the one hand, we know for certain that people who move more, who do physical activity, have a reduced fat mass and also a lower risk of developing cancer. On the other hand, there is the positive effect confirmed by this study on women who have suffered from breast cancer. Cycling reduces the unwanted effects of chemotherapy and accelerates and facilitates the healing process. But let's return for a moment to my initial proposal, starting to go to work by bicycle instead of by car. Today, know that in America, more than 100,000 people die each year from pathologies related to sedentary lifestyle, and this number could be immediately wiped out if we all started taking the bicycle to go to work. But the numbers are much, much higher if we consider how many people die every day from car accidents. Think about it yourself. Maybe you or someone you know has probably known someone who then died in a car accident. Today, the newspapers fill the front pages with headlines talking about a massacre of people killed by some strange virus, but these numbers are absolutely infinitesimal compared to all the people who die every day from accidents. If we all made the conscious choice right now to take the bicycle, this number would be much, much lower. But then the beautiful thing about the bicycle, the seventh important benefit, is that if you start the day pedaling, making movement, your whole day will be positively modified. It is precisely in the morning that we have that peak of cortisol that gives us the push to move, to seek something positive. If we exploit it, if we facilitate it, we will have physical changes in losing weight but also mental ones, feeling more positive and more serene during the day. You will notice that you will be changing, it will be easier for you to make the right choices and perhaps to give up eating too much, smoking, drinking alcohol in excess, precisely because of that simple, small effort you made in the morning, but which directed your person in the right direction towards the goals you have set for yourself and which you know can do you good. The eighth benefit that I know very well, the bicycle is very effective in situations of degenerative arthritis or chronic pain. Just put the person on a bicycle, even a stationary one, even a stationary bike, and have them pedal to start promoting endorphins, to start promoting a little movement and a little fluidification of the joints, and to have real, even visible benefits on arthritis that may be difficult to overcome or on pain that does not go away for a long time. In this case, the stationary bike has the advantage of not putting the person at risk, of not making them lose their balance, perhaps fall, they cannot hit anything, so it is a very useful and effective therapeutic proposal both for a person who has just come out of a complex surgical intervention and wants to start moving the joints a little and making the heart beat, and for a person who has a chronic problem that they have been carrying for many years and wants to start producing endorphins to feel better and then have the possibility to move with more vigor. Pedaling is a safe, low-impact option that also positively influences balance, 
And I am talking especially about elderly people where losing balance and falling at home is the number one factor of hospitalization. A person over 70 years old is very easy and very common to slip at home, trip on a rug, break a hip, and then end up in the hospital with the negative consequence that perhaps inside the hospital they will catch a difficult to eliminate bacterium or virus that could then lead to death. If we go to the root of the problem and help people have better balance, we can solve many negative consequences. And how do we do it? By strengthening the legs, strong legs, better balance, it is always a true equation. Now I will tell you something, however, that goes against everything I have said so far. There are also negative aspects related to the bicycle. Well, yes, those who ride a bike also have a risk of being hit, of having serious injuries due to an accident. Some men who ride a bike 3-4 hours a day can have serious problems with the prostate or the pudendal nerve. The bicycle is not the ideal way to lose weight because weights and the gym are much more effective. And if we put it on the balance, if you are outdoors, it is better to take a walk rather than take the bicycle because walking, strolling, is something that is linked to our genetics, that we were born to do, and therefore it will certainly lead to greater benefits rather than going by bike. So why choose the bicycle if there are better alternatives? The answer I gave right at the beginning of the video, the bicycle makes you feel free, the bicycle makes you feel like a child again. The best exercise you can do is the one you will do, the one you will do continuously. You might get bored of lifting weights, you might get bored of walking down the street without knowing where to go, but if every time you get on the bicycle you smile, you remember when you were a child, you feel freer, then this thing will come naturally to you to repeat day after day, week after week, month after month, and year after year. And in front of you, instead of an uphill road, you will have a downhill road towards health, well-being, and emotional and mental balance. To convince everyone, I can also tell you with an economic and mathematical calculation that those who choose the bicycle save on average about $10-$15,000 a year on gas, car expenses, and insurance. So even the most pragmatic, the most venal, the people who pay attention to calculations and money will be able to understand, will be able to quickly intuit that choosing the bicycle over the car is the best choice they can make. I invite you now to share below in the comments what your experience with the bicycle is, what your relationship with it is, what emotion emerges when you are on a bike, and what memories you have from childhood when you went on a bike, and share them with us to make everyone understand how important, how pleasant it is to use this means of transport. We are interested in discovering your personal experience on the topic. Write it in the comments and feel free to ask any questions, we will be happy to interact. Feel free to leave a comment so that we can improve the content. Your like would be the cherry on top, and click subscribe to stay informed about upcoming publications.